Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm making another video on a Pethiopetalum and I really love this plant because this is a Pethiopetalum Pinocchio and uh, this Pethiopetalum, it's a hybrid between uh, Primulinum and Glaucophyllum. See, as you can see, it's a beautiful flower and uh, I love the lip because it's so pristine and, and just perfect. Uh, what I want to point out about this plant is that uh, these are sequential bloomers. So what's going to happen when you get your bloom spike, it's going to come out. You might want to stake it. I recommend you stake it because these grow really long. So what you want to do is stake it if you can get a, a, a really tall one because it's going to become pendulous after a while. My stake is kind of short so it's, it's, it only holds it up to the, this bract right here. And then from here it's split up and uh, this flower is almost done. The flower will last you may, maybe a month or so. And uh, it's getting ready to drop because as you see here, the other bloom, the other bud is coming out. So what you want to do with these sequential bloomers is not cut the spike. Because once this flower dries and drops, then the other one will grow. And then the other one will grow. So if you keep this plant uh, give it all the right conditions, water, humidity, airflow, and light. It'll keep on blooming for over a year. I had this one blooming for over a year, uh, and I cut the old spike, but then this one grew. So potentially I can have this plant in bloom for a whole year. And uh, the way I grow it is just in regular Pethiopetalum mix. It's bark, some leaka pellets. It has a little bit of chopped moss. And uh, that's all that is. Again, Pethiopetalum Pinocchio, hybrid between Pethiopetalum Glaucophyllum and Pethiopetalum Primulinum. It's a sequential bloomer, so keep blooming. Don't cut the spike. Thanks for watching.